All right, what's going on friends? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to install this retractable tonneau cover by O9. Now this tonneau cover is all aluminum and it is lockable. And I have to say, I really like it now that I got it all installed. It's really not that hard. So, but it'll stop right there if you want it to, or I can take it all the way ahead. Or I can take it all the way ahead like that. Just follow along and I'll make this process a lot easier. The box looked a little beat up, but it seems to be packaged really nice. These knee pads definitely come in handy. I'm not 18 years old no more. Separating stuff as I go. Projects like this, it's nice to keep everything organized. Let's seal parts. I definitely have this thing packaged nice so you don't have to worry about it coming all banged up. All right, let's see what's in these boxes. And I have this just sitting on my tailgate. Hopefully I can kind of work from off this tailgate and I have a little table behind me. Some of my other parts on it. But... Oh look, don't even need tools. Wrench, it does come with your little Allen wrench. That's everything that came in them two boxes, along with some directions. This A22 is going to go with the A23. That will eventually go on like that. This A21, first off, these brackets come like this. You're going to see that little rough spot, that rough spot. That kind of goes together, but they slide like this together. Okay. This bolt here. It's gonna go through there into that. It's threaded. I'm not sure if we're gonna put that on first yet, but I'm just showing you where all these parts go. Okay, same with those ones over there. These will end up sliding in your rails. This A7 and A8, that is gonna attach your rails to the roll up tonneau cover. These little rubber caps go in the ends of the rails. I'll show you, I'm gonna show you this, where these go. And then we're gonna move on. All right, this is one of my side rails. And it, I have right now, I have it flipped upside down. I just wanna show you where these little square bolts are gonna go. There's a little square on the underside of that. It'll slide down in that square and you can slide it along there. And that's when it's going to attach them brackets that are going to attach to the side of your truck. Okay. And this little rubber cap, it doesn't go on the end that's rounded, but it's going to end up sliding in down here at this end. I'll show you. <sighs> See, it's going to end up going, it's going to end up going in there to block that. All right. I'm going to attach the roll up tonneau cover to the side rails. The, where you can see the rounded piece is going to go toward where your tailgate goes. And you're going to want to get this little bag that came in your kit. This is the two, that's going to have four little bolts in there and some washers. That's what's going to attach those two pieces onto that roll up piece. So we're going to do that first. Let's do this side first. I don't think it matters which side. But you see also I cut, I just cut my box so I can keep that lane on there. And another thing, if you're looking for the key that came with it, they will be on the end of this little strap. And also, before you get all wound up and excited, it looks like this is falling apart, but it's not. Hang on, I'll show you. Okay. 
this looks like, uh oh, it's falling apart. No, that's just a protective coating. So you can take that off. We're going to take that off. Let me get that off and I'll get back to you. All right, after you get all that wonderful black protective coating off, that probably is going to be, I'm hoping that will be the hardest part of your job now that you're watching my video to show you how to do this. Now, on the underside of this rail, there's a little spot right here to put a screw and there to put a screw. That's going to line up with this hole and this hole. Right here, where there's a little channel. There's also a little plastic piece here on the back that's going to slide in there. Make sure you push this button in to retract the piece that makes it lock. Now it's going to slide over there. Line that up. Just like that. All right. I'm going to leave that like that. And I'm going to slide the other side in. Like I said, make sure you have that thing retracted by pushing that button in. And don't forget this little plastic piece slides in that little rail there. There. All right, this may seem a little tricky, but you have to line up. Like I said, that little black piece at the end of this goes right inside that track there. And you also have to, so like it might be easier with two people got to make sure this there's a piece in there that slides in this track here so you're kind of doing two things at one time it's not impossible but that's what you're doing there now we can put the two screws in the two screws are going to go up up under this piece <clears throat> push that all the way ahead maybe till it stops and these screws will go on. Oh yeah. There we go. You can tighten them up. So just make sure you have this all the way slid forward. And these two go in there. Let me get them tightened up. All right, we'll go all He-Man on that. Remember who He-Man was? I'm sure you don't have to be very strong to strip that out. <clears throat> that seems good there. Okay. Good there. All right, let me get this side all hooked up, and then we'll move on to the next step. Now, like I said, make sure that's already all slid all the way ahead. Once you get that ahead, these should line up not too hard. I'm wearing these old army pants because I have knee pads in them. Knee pads would be good with this job. If you're having trouble lining this little, this little bolt or screw, whatever you want to call that up there, you might just need to roll this edge a little bit just to help get those threads lined up. Now I think you can take those little square rubber plugs. This little plug goes down in underneath here, not the top. It's down in there, the flat side up. Just like that. All right, before you go to put your tonneau cover up in here, if like the back of your truck bed does not match with the rails, that's where you're going to take this foam sealant and you're going to put it on there. Now you got to make sure you clean that off with maybe some alcohol or you want to make sure that's cleaned up good. So when you go to stick it down there, it sticks good. Nice and clean. Now that makes that line up a lot better. Now when I put that across there, mine was just a little short, but when you're sticking it on there, if you just stretch it out a little bit, it stretches and then fits in there perfect, at least on my truck. All right, now we're gonna use these screws, A12, 13, and 14. There's probably 10 of them. I think we're only gonna use, looks like I'm only gonna use maybe six of them, though. So they must give you extras. So we're gonna need this top cover, which they call that A15. I'm gonna need that three. 
And then these are like little washers for them. Two, three, one. And then these caps will go on them. And then get your top cover. We're gonna put that on too. All right, the one Allen wrench you have has like a little number two screwdriver on it. Or you can just go get a number two screwdriver. Now this is gonna go, keep this rubber part. The rubber part's gonna be toward me. And these three holes are gonna line up with these three spots here. There's thread, threaded spots there. Just like that. Flop that rubber down underneath. Perfect. And you'll take the three little plastic washers and they're gonna, should fit right down in them little holes. There's like a little lip on that washer. So make sure you don't put them upside down. Then you're gonna take your little, the little screws that came with it and we'll put them on. Make sure you don't cross thread them. Sometimes I like to take my screwdriver and go backwards a little bit and then go forward. Another three go over here. I don't recommend putting these on as hard as you can because you'll probably strip them out. It's good. I think I'm gonna wait to put these little caps on last just so I can maybe double check them. All right, I think before I put this up on the truck, I mean, you could do this after the fact if you want, but I'm gonna put the bigger tubes. There was four tubes that came in here with your tonneau cover. I'm gonna take the two larger ones and there's two larger clamps. They go up underneath here. So when this rains and rain gets in there, that will drain out. I'm gonna connect them on now because I just think it will be a lot easier. Now that's good that this is up on that two by four. Just show you one and then you can do the other one. Pretty simple. Put this on here like this. Clamp, slide it over that. Like that. And then tighten it up. Okay, that should be good. Now I'll do the other side. This is probably gonna take two people, so. I'll grab this back. Ooh, that's it, you got it? Okay. Okay? Okay? Oh, good job, you got it? Come, come, come. Now, let me see if I can grab this here now. That wasn't too bad. Now that rubber, yeah, pick that rubber up. It goes up over the back there. Oh, it looks good. I think I'm crooked. Oh, no, I'm not. Okay. All right. Let's take bolts that are have a big square head, and we're going to take three, at least for my truck. If you have a longer bed, you might have to use four of them. But we're, I'm going to put three of these on each side. And I showed you where to put these, and I'll show you again. I don't know if we really need this. For a longer bed, you might need this piece. That's just to make sure you're still parallel, I guess. Parallel both sides. But Now, these are going to go up under this rail. Right. There's a little square spot you can stick them in. And we just put one, all three in there. Like that. And they're going to get spread. You'll have like one down here, maybe one in the middle, maybe one down here somewhere. Then I took these pieces that I slid together, like I showed you in the beginning, you just slide them two together. These two rigid spots line up and they slide together. And I took this long bolt. This long bolt will go in here like this, like this, start that through there. One of these little rubber caps on the end, like that. Then the A21, these bolts right here will go in here, they're a little shorter, and it will thread in the back. Just start that just a little bit. Okay, like that. 
how your Allen key will fit in there. All right, before we start hooking them rails down, we got to line up the back of the rail system here and the back over here. It's going to have to come, it says in the direction is 20 millimeter. Not really sure where they're measuring from, but I'm going to show you the back of this has to go on top of this tailgate just a little bit. So let me show you. And you can see right there is a big gap. We don't want that. We want to pull, pull that. So that comes on onto my tailgate just a little bit there. Pull this side a little bit. And when I tighten this down, it should be tighter. When I put that clamp on, I can try to get this all lined up nice. I kind of like this rubber spot, at least on my tailgate, there's a little indent right there. I think I kind of like that. I'll do the same over here. Looks good there. Okay, I got that. This all lined up. And then also I kind of looked at this corner here. And at least on my truck, it is, it's right here at the corner of the truck. And I did this, the other side looks pretty much exactly the same. Now, before you get these clamps tightened down there real good and tight, maybe I recommend taking a tape measure and measuring, maybe measure up front here. Don't put it against, there's a, you'll see, feel that little rubber seal there. Don't put it against that. Put it down here on the metal. But measure maybe over from there, over to where it ends. It looks like mine is showing 57 and 15 sixteenths. So you just, I recommend maybe getting in here and measuring this just to see how close it is. Now, I kind of think that's what this piece right here is for. You stick that in between there, but I don't think I need that. See how close we are. Yeah, mine is really, really close by maybe, I think it says 58 here. So I'm off by maybe a 16th of an inch. So I can kind of double check that as I go. I really don't think a 16th of an inch is gonna make a difference. So I'm gonna start trying to put these up under. You need the little, the little black nuts that came, yeah, came with them square bolts. And they are a 10 millimeter. So I'm gonna need three on this side and three on this side. I got three of my clamps for this side, three for that side. And I have my little nuts up here, my socket. Now you can use that little wrench. It did come with a 10 millimeter wrench and a, I guess, a number five Allen, but well, I have some tools. So now these are pretty simple. I just want to show you, like I like we sh like I showed you before. I have all this looks really good lined up, and it was lined up for my tailgate. And up here, if we start really reefing down and clamping stuff, kind of see if this is looking real similar up here. Over to here, looks like I'm off. A little bit so maybe I'll pull this over just a little bit just to even the other side up looks good I think it went a little too far now there right there yeah that looks better now rubber is down over make sure before you hook that down these two little rubber flaps or out from underneath of it. Kind of helps keep it watertight. Okay, I think we're ready. See if anything looks like it moved. It moved a little. That looks good. Let's see what this looks like again since I just moved it. That looks good. All right, everything looks, still looks good. Double check this. That looks good. All right, let's put, I'm gonna put one of these on. Now, that should go, hooks over your bed right here. Something right there might be in my way, so I'm gonna back up a little. Should go like that, just like that. Put this little nut over that. Not 
going real tight with that. I'm just getting that out of my way. This is probably where it would be nice if you had somebody to really push down on this rail right here while you get this all lined up and tightened up. I think it's going to be easier to tighten it on there first. Nice and tight. Looks good. Now I'll do this one maybe. I like that. That's good and tight. I can come back and check that. Maybe by hand I'll check that instead of with my drill. See with these this bed, I don't think I'm gonna even need this piece here. It seems good and straight. We'll see how it closes. But let me do one on the other side. Try that again. Take one of the nuts, slide that up over. Okay, that looks good. Check this top. Top looks good still. Still looks like the other side. Back, back here. I'll measure this one more time. 57 and 15 sixteenths. Man, it looks exact. 57 and 15 sixteenths. I want to see what happens when I pull on this before I get that all hooked up. It locks in place. So far, it looks good. See if my, yeah, my tailgate don't kind of sticks a little, but I think that'll wear in in time. That should go back by itself. Ha, slick. And you can take this piece here and clip it over here to the side so you don't lose it. All right, I think I'm ready to hook everything else up now. Let me get the other four hooked in and then I'll show you what else you got to do. Yeah, I think I'm taking one of them square bolts when you stuck it up inside the rail, I think I'm going to take it back toward the cab. Stick one as close as I can to this. I'm going to go back afterwards and, like I said, check this by hand. See, because it's hard to tell how tight I am with this drill. These other two on. That back there. All right, I'm going to go back through and check these by hand because oh, that's definitely tight. Tight. Now I think these longer bolts don't work on all trucks, but some trucks like this, this top rail is so nice and flat and wide, this is laying nice and flat. So I think if you'd have to roll this up a little bit, like, you know, it's leaning down, you could tighten that bottom bolt up and it will roll that up. I don't think we're going to even need them. Everything seems so nice and sturdy and straight. So. I think that's good. These little plastic caps, they will go over, right over these. You can clip them on there. I think I'm gonna keep these and maybe I'll put these on because this is my stepdad's truck. I think I'll put these on later for him. But I'd like to check this in like a couple weeks after driving around, see if anything shifted or moved or loosened up. That way it's easier to check instead of putting these on there. But that's what those plastic caps are for. So we'll leave them off for now. You can put them on right away if you want. And it will make it look a lot nicer. 
or you can wait a couple weeks like I'm going to do. Let me take these keys off so I don't forget. Now both sides of your rail will have a spot right here at the back to put these little, the smaller tubes on. And then you're supposed to run this out through a hole. And at least on this Chevy, I have a nice hole right here. And it's beautiful, this little rubber grommet is going to fit right in there. So that part is easy. And I'll show you what I'm going to do up front for now, because I don't think them big tubes are going to fit where there's a hole, but I'll show you what I'm going to do. But these ones will fit right in this hole nice. It's right in there. So I can put this rubber grommet in here. And you got to put this in here, because if not, that tube's just going to wear a hole in it. Ah, perfect. And we can put this... Put the hose clamp on there, stick that in there, and then tighten that up with the screwdriver. Okay, that's good. Now that tube is going to go right in there, but I'm going to cut it off some. So let's cut it about maybe that long. And I'm going to cut this at an angle like that. See, I cut that little bit of it at an angle because I think if I stick that in there, I can run it right down the side of my truck bed. Because, oh yeah, see? Somehow, I think I should have cut it a little longer, but I don't like it. It's too short. I think I cut that too short. You know what I'll do? I'll, I'll put this longer one on that I just cut off. You did what I just did. All right, let me try this one. Okay. So yeah, I probably could put that huge long piece in there. Now that that's out of the handle. Hmm. Yeah, just gotta curve that a little bit. Oh, there we go. Got it. That ain't so bad. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. All right, we still have two tubes in the front here, but it's up to you. If you can find somewhere to run them through the side of your bed, that would be great because a lot of these beds will have a spot in the back. But this Chevy doesn't have a spot in the back, but I do have a hole down here. So that's where I'm just going to run this tube. I'm just going to cut some of it off. And I'm going to try taping it right on this bed right here. So that water will run into that. And hopefully that won't drive me nuts because that tube won't fit in that hole. And I don't feel like cutting a hole in the side of my bed. So unless you come up with a better idea, that's what I'm going to do in this scenario here. Let's see what happens after real hard rain. So I'm going to bring this down here pretty tight. Cut that off. I don't know if this is going to work. I might have to get some better tape. It really sticks on the truck. get some really good Gorilla tape that might stay there. All these tonneau covers like this have the same thing. So it's definitely not just this brand. They're all like this. I'm going to take a little bit of this lubricant that came with it and just squirt it inside that track where this slides just a little bit. Yeah, comes out better if you take this little cap off. Take the lid off and take that foil off. Wonder why it wasn't coming out. All right, let me try this again. There we go. Now it should be coming out. Put that little lid on. Okay. All right, let me show you how this thing works. This button is now. If you have that locked, it's not going to do anything. But if you have it unlocked, push that. Pull on this a little bit. Push that button in, and that's how you unlock it. And then you, to lock it forward, you got to use the 
the little plastic wing nut underneath. Almost seems like I have to turn it backwards and then turn it to the other, turn it to the right. I think it'd be the right. Turn that before you get there. It'll lock right in place. You just have to kind of mess with you get the hang of it. Easy. Keep that covered over your keyhole. All right, another feature that this tonneau cover does have, if I want to push this button in, pull, you pull on a little, like I said, push the button in and it will go forward. Now if I, the piece that locks it so it stays forward, if I clip that, shut that, or whatever you want to call that, one click, now it's going to stay open halfway. So if I wanted my tonneau cover to go halfway, I'll go there. And then you can also pull on a little bit, push that button in, go past the halfway point, clip it, click it again, and it will stay open right there. I don't know what you call that. like quarter of the way so I guess in case you would want to put something down under here and kind of keep it somewhat dry it would stay right there so it also does that all right when you're all done you will have some parts left over um, well th these rubber grommets were for the bigger tubes and like I believe some of these extra parts are because some of the tonneau covers are are bigger for longer beds. So that's probably why you're going to have a couple extra parts left over. All right, that's the end of this video. I hope I really helped you out putting this tonneau cover on. If I did, give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below if you have any other ways maybe of helping somebody out putting this on. And hit that subscribe button to help support my channel. God bless and have a great day.